Welcome to another Monday Morning Pastor where we look at a point or two from Sunday's message to share, to help us get through the week. And we all are familiar with the phrase, it's like watching a train wreck. Watching a train wreck, especially when a conflict or a breakup between two people becomes public. Think about how popular TV shows like Judge Judy or The People's Court were. I asked church on Sunday how many could remember, and of course this dated a lot of people, where they were when they heard the verdict in the O.J. Simpson trial. And more recently, how many would admit to having watched some of the recent Amber Heard in Johnny Depp trial? Most of the church raised their hands. Although we probably wouldn't admit it, we sort of like watching conflict among other people. Paul knew that and Paul expressed his shock and huge disappointment about this church at Corinth that we've been looking at because they allowed conflicts and disputes and lawsuits between brothers in the church to spill over in the public realm and to go to uh, the Corinthian court system. The Corinthian court system was well known. It was much like the Greek and Athenian system where hundreds of people could sometimes end up being on the jury to decide a case. People loved attending and watching those disputes take place in the public eye. And Paul's concern is that this church would allow this to happen, thus damaging the individuals and damaging the church. We find this in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, and I'm just going to read the first seven verses. They go like this. Paul's saying, if any of you has a dispute with another, do you dare take it before the ungodly for judgment instead of before the Lord's people? Or do you not know that the Lord's people will judge the world? Well, eventually there will be some eschatological end times event in which God's people will preside over the world. And if you are to judge the world, are you not competent to judge trivial cases like what's occurring at this church in Corinth. Do you not know that we will also judge angels? So how much more the things in this life ought we to handle and manage? Verse four, therefore, if you have disputes about such matters, do you ask for a ruling from those whose way of life is scorned in the church? That is, their values are different than the church values. And I say this to shame you. Is it possible there is nobody among you wise enough to judge a dispute between believers, between members of your church? But instead, one brother takes another brother to court, and this in front of unbelievers, in front of the unchurch. Verse 7, the very fact that you have lawsuits among you means that you have been completely defeated already. Why not rather be wronged why not rather be cheated? In other words, there are some things more important than winning your lawsuit. As I mentioned, in the Greek Athenian world, lawsuits were public. Lawsuits were brought before sometimes hundreds and hundreds of people. They getting to vote on the verdict. Can you imagine that today? It was sport. It was entertainment to watch these things take place. Now we still have court and thank goodness we do because sometimes it is needed even by God's people. One more relevant to us today is that we have social media where people air their conflicts, their disagreements, their breakups, and their fights, sadly. And so Paul says that there is one place at least where this should not occur and that is the church. Because once a conflict becomes public property, nobody wins. Everybody gets soiled and all reputations are usually damaged. And his advice here as in elsewhere in the scriptures is to make a great effort to work things out, even if it costs you. And if that doesn't work, personally going to the, the individual you're having a conflict with, then ask for help from wise people, leaders in the church to help resolve the conflict. In Paul's mind, churches would and should have the grace and the wisdom to help solve these personal conflicts. Again, once the conflict reaches the public, especially through social media, all reputations are damaged. So, 
Paul's advice, swallow a little pride, go to your brother, compromise, forgive, ask for forgiveness, and even take the loss for the greater cause of maintaining the dignity and reputation of all. And again, keep it off social media. Thank you for watching and listening and have a great week.